Hey, hey, sneak peekers. We're here at the 2021 Austin Film Festival on the red carpet for Karma Link. I've been searching, seeking, and now finally we meet. So what was your biggest inspiration for this film? Well, uh, there's, there's a, a whole tapestry of, of, of inspirations. Um, the biggest one would have to be, I, I, I lived, I taught in Cambodia for a year. I taught filmmaking to kids living in the neighborhood where the film takes place. And so I think that whole year of getting to know this community, getting to know the kids, and, and really falling in love with this neighborhood um, really informed a lot the story I wanted to tell and, and why I wanted to tell it, and also like gave me the desire, the motivation to tell, to tell it because it, it meant, it was like a cool organizing principle in my life. Like It meant that I was going to go that much deeper in the community. I'm sure you traveled to quite a few places. What made you want to choose Cambodia for this film? Well, uh, yeah, Cambodia has been really important on my path in many ways. I first traveled there as a backpacker in 2010. It was a really meaningful moment of um, my. Yeah, I can honestly say that like the, the course of my life uh, changed from that moment in Cambodia, and um, I I came back to Cambodia as a filmmaker. As my first uh, professional gig as a filmmaker was on a project in Cambodia, and then I had the opportunity to go teach filmmaking there. So I, I didn't like. I didn't feel like I, I, I was like casting about for a, a place to make a feature film and then I chose Cambodia. It was more like Cambodia had become very important for me and this idea arose and it took place there. And so yeah, I made a movie in Cambodia. <laughs> For, I have a question, so what was the biggest challenge about producing this movie specifically? This, shot, this movie has over 250 VFX shots and it's a low budget movie, so we had very talented, persistent VFX artists working on this. In particular, uh, our VFX supervisor, Blaze and Kyle Hossein, was completely elevated in this movie to the level of our greatest dreams in terms of the level of artistry he brought. Because the VFX, it's, it's authorship of its own. I mean, the, the design is incredibly, um, on one hand, very like spot on with exactly what's clear from the script, what Jake had imagined. But on the flip side, like, completely reinvented in an imagination. And that's the best kind of collaboration. I mean, as a producer, I'm always working uh, with a lot of different creatives and kind of putting them together and matchmaking them and, and facilitating the process of them being creative with each other. And sometimes it's a matter of putting two people in a room and being like, go for it. But sometimes it's a matter of being like, I really think that you should meet this person because like there's something synergistic there. And uh, in this case, I think there really was something synergistic. Uh, and the ideal is when each artist is creating themselves and both artists are generous enough to know how to collaborate with each other. I mean, you can't have a good movie if people are being covetous with their creativity and they're like being egotistical about their authorship. And you know, in this situation, it's important to have a heavy dose of vision and that can relate to ego, but it's still incredibly important to be able to like find those dynamics where people are creatively collaborating. Um, so yeah, this was like a, definitely a, a challenge in, in you know, working through the long months of that, but um, definitely very rewarding as well. That's incredible what you said about the special effects because when I was watching the trailer, the special effects is one of the things that like stood out to me. I was like, oh my god, this is like incredible. I really liked it. Um, what was the most memorable part about filming this film? Um, I know, it's probably really hard. <laughs> yeah, the most memorable part of filming this... Um, I, I mean, it's, it's the first Cambodian sci-fi. And we were filming. We were filming uh, in in this community where I was teaching. And I, I remember on the first or second day of shooting, we have uh, we're shooting these scenes in the family's home, and, and the the grandma is wearing this um, sci-fi uh, like uh, neuronal activation uh, helmet that's like changing her her brain structure, and a lot of people from the village were like gathering around to watch what was going on and it and uh and, and standing behind me at the monitor and um 
And I, I wanted to make this, this movie as a celebration of that sense of community. And like being there and feeling uh, like that community around me and also feeling like we were doing something really weird, you know, that hadn't been done there. And people were like really curious, what's going on with this like weird activation device on grandma's head? Um, moments like that uh, were, were really sublime, definitely, definitely stand out to me. Wow. I